What type of business license do you need in order to sell online, on Amazon, on Noon, in the UAE? Is there a difference and which one is better? Should you go for a free zone business license or should you go for a mainland business license? What type of taxes are you going to be paying in the year 2022 and 2023? All of these questions and so much more we have answered in this video. Are you ready? Let's get started. This is not just going to be a standard interview. This is going to be an interview with Sholpan, who is in charge of business development for Ummul Kuwain Free Zone. We're also going to be taking snippets from Sholpan's presentation during the Amazon Sellers Society Sellers United event on June 25th. So you can find all of the information that you need in this video. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel, you like the video, and make sure you reach out to Sholpan and the Ummul Kuwain Free Zone team if you have further, further questions. I will leave all of the information in the description box of this video. Let's get started. Sholpan, thank you so much for coming to Sellers United. Um, we're going to be talking a little bit about business registration and Ummul Kuwain Free Zone. So my first question for you is, there's a lot of free zones in the UAE. Can you give us a little bit more information about Ummul Kuwain Free Zone? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Crystal, for having me here. It's Thank an you. amazing event. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, actually in UAE currently more than 45 different free trade zones. And Ummul Kuwain Free Trade Zone is a northern free zone. And uh, we are licensing a government licensing authority. We provide a wide range of uh, different type of services, uh, starting from the company formation, renewal, we provide visas as well. And uh, we have been uh, in the market uh, since 1987. And now we have uh, two different locations across the uh, Emirate of Umul Kuwain. And our headquarters currently in my Emirate of Umul Kuwain on the highway E311, which is very easy access and not so far from Dubai, only 30 minutes drive from Dubai. So a lot of people who don't really know the UAE um, don't really understand what a free zone is. So um, and what the advantages of having a company in the, in the free zone. So can you give us a little bit of a background of why do people in the UAE opt to have a free zone company and not like a regular standard company? Is it any different from a like, regular and standard company? Yeah, sure. Uh, the company can be uh, set up in the UAE year in either in mainland or in the free zone. The main advantages of having a company in, in the free zone is that company can be 100% owned by foreign investor, whereas in the mainland, uh, the UE national as a part of the company is mandatory requirement. Uh, there is a lot of uh, other advantages, uh, such as uh, zero corporate uh, taxes and zero personal taxes, uh, no uh, import and export, uh, export duties as well, full repatriation of the currency and profits. We provide a uh, a wide range of different business uh, business activities it can be we can incorporate a company for the light and heavy manufacturing companies we can issue different type of commercial uh, licenses uh, for e-commerce particularly we issue uh, licenses as well general trading consultancy service licenses and freelance permit for the individuals so of course we're gonna see your presentation that you did during uh, our event in, in a few, but my last question for you is, um, can you use a UAE company for not only in the UAE, because as you know, as Amazon sellers, we tend to want to expand to other Amazon marketplaces. Yeah. So is it a business that you should only be using in the UAE or are there any advantages then maybe possibly having a European company versus a UAE company? Yeah, it's a great question. Actually, the advantages of having free zone company, you can operate around the world, across mm -hmm. the world, because, for example, for commercial purpose, you can get a customs uh, uh, number and you can import and export products around the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, by having a company in the UAE, it's as a global gate, you, you have access to more than 2 billion customers. And it's an ideal location of having a legal entity and with the ideal infrastructure in the UAE, uh, you can find the right partners 
right customers, and as well, wide range of services which will support your enterprise. Yeah. My name is Shulpan. I'm a senior business development executive at Umalkoi Free Trade Zone. Uh, over the course of my career, I help uh, to explore the UE market for foreign investors. I help them to incorporate the company, expand or relocate uh, to their businesses to UE, uh, particularly to Umalkoi Free Trade Zone. And I'm here today to talk about uh, advantages and benefits of having a, or registering a company in Umalkoi in Free Trade Zone. Uh, as you can see from the screen of my presentation, the topic is uh, Startup, Relocate and Grow, Investment Opportunities in Umalkoi in Free Trade Zone. The company uh, can be uh, set up in either in mainland or in the free zone. To establish a company in the mainland, you need to have a UE national as a partner of the company and uh, who will hold minimum 51% of the shares. Whereas uh, the company in the free zone can be 100% owned by the foreign investor. This is a main benefit of registering the company in the free zone. There is no requirements to have a, as a partner either, neither a UE national or a service local agent. What is a major attraction to register the company in the free zone compared to mainland? As I said, it's a 100% uh, foreign ownership and uh, no corporate and personal income tax. There is no absolutely uh, uh, import and export duties, zero, and uh, no currency restrictions and um, full repatriation of the profits of the company. This is a major attraction of foreign investors to go to the free zone authority and register the company. We provide a different type of license packages, such as industrial, commercial, consultancy, service licenses. And depending on your business requirements, we will assist you and help you to choose the right business activity. Uh, we have different type of facilities, uh, co-working spaces. We have uh, executive offices. We have pre-built warehouses, which will help to uh, save capex cost. Uh, we have land plots. Uh, companies set up, what is the benefit? Benefit. benefit that the company can be set up with the up to 50 shareholders in the company can be and uh, we have different type of companies can be uh, uh, registered uh, as such as free zone company where company uh, owned by two and more shareholders up to 50 free zone establishment when the company can be owned by single shareholder and this shareholder can be either corporate or individual person and the price will remain the same and branch of the foreign company or UE company. We require minimum paperwork to register the company. It's just a passport copy and the proof of address and passport size photo. And the physical presence of the client is, is not required. Everything can be done remotely through email or, or courier services. Of course, if the client uh, applying for the visa license packages, he has to come and do maybe biometric if it's his first visa or just arrive with entry permit and complete his visa process. Uh, different uh, type of license packages has a visa eligibility. It depends, uh, then it will, uh, like, uh, we uh, do quotation based on the client's requirements. We prepare the quotation, this is what I was trying to say, uh, based on the client's requirements, what business activity he will uh, perform, what facility does he require, and how many visa quota does he require. Based on these three fundamental points, we will create a, a <coughs> uh, quotation. Uh, you may ask among this 45 free trade zone why we need to choose Malkuein and uh, as I said, uh, we provide cost effective license packages. We have our costs are very transparent, no hidden charges at all. We provide uh, the quotation and where our potential client can see the price from A to Z. The company, one legal entity can have up to 50 shareholders, whereas you can check with other free zone, it's limited number up to four only. Minimum paperwork, no physical presence, easy, uh, the, the best location, a multi free zone actually located 30 minutes from Dubai International Airport and 20 minutes from Sharjah International Airport and has seaport as well, Ahmed bin Rashid port, as I said, it's managed by Hutchinson port, which is a, the world's leading developer and operator who is leading the seaports uh, 
currently they're leading, uh, they're managing 52 ports around the world in 27 countries. And uh, we have access, it's not so far from the major port, seaport in UE, Jabalali port, has access connectivity with the Jabalali port and has connectivity with Khali port, Sharjah. Um, yeah, and we have different type of uh, business activities. Uh, the company, uh, we can reduce the in industrial companies for the light and heavy manufacturing companies because we can uh, provide uh, pre-built warehouses and land plots. Uh, and uh, warehouses, we have different uh, sizes of warehouses from 1,000 square feet to 3,000 square feet. Uh, each warehouse has small office, pantry, toilet, land plots also, the size of ranges from 2,500 square, square meet and above. Uh, and um, uh, as well, for those who doesn't require any like warehouses or land plots, of course, we can offer the small business packages with the co-working space, with the executive offices, and with the, uh, the, the cl our clients can use uh, conference, meeting rooms, uh, business lounge for their meetings. Yeah, and the company set up, it's very easy process, can be uh, done in few steps only. It's uh, just uh, the client has to uh, provide their trade name and choose the activity and choosing the, the right activity. Of course, we always help the client to choose the right activity and uh, license package. Then uh, second step is um, uh, submitting the documents, make a payment, and within one, two working days, the license will be issued. But we signed the memorandum of understanding with National Bank of Mulkwey. They have a, a branch in our headquarter and they're rep the bank representative who assists all our clients for the banking purpose. Yeah, and in addition to that, we have an official partner called Amal. They do all post they provide all post registration services, such as also banking, uh, insurance, dependent visa, legalization of the documents, translation. We do uh, official partners as well, who support our clients. Because as a government registered authority, scope of our work is register the company and support with the visa renewal amendments this kind of services we provide. There is a zero tax, uh, there is no corporate and uh, in, uh, personal tax. However, uh, next year, as has been announced by the UE government, 9% of tax uh, like will be implemented. However, exemption for the free zone companies. Because free zone companies, it's considered as a companies which has to do the business outside of UE. Import and export provide the services outside of the UE. That's why now 9%, which will be from June 2023, will not be implemented for the free zone companies. Thank you so much to Sholpan, all of the Umul Kowen free zone team. Again, if you need any information, want to learn a little bit more information that we maybe didn't talk about in the video, go ahead and reach out to Umul Kowain Free Zone. They've got a fantastic team. They can help you get started with your business license. I'll see you in another video with more information. Bye.